blah. This week, I've decided to tackle making an axe handle. I've been wanting to do this project for three years, ever since I saw Jimmy DeResta make one. So stay tuned if you want to see my trial, my error, and finally my success. You'll probably recognize my friend Forrest from a few of my other videos. Well, he found out I was trying to make an axe handle, but misplaced the head I had set aside for this project. So he decided to bring me one that he's had for the last 35 years. And you're not going to miss it? Nah. Make something out of it, you can have it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just love that. So I started off by removing the old handle from the head, which was pretty easy since it was already so broken up. Then I looked really closely at the grain on my 4x4 stock and picked out a section to trace the old handle so that the grain would be running as vertically up and down as possible. Once I had that lined out, then I went over to the bandsaw and first cut off some of the excess stock. Then I laid it flat and started cutting along my line. But then next I flipped it up on its face and started cutting in the sides. And on this, there wasn't, there wasn't a really good way to trace it. So I just kind of estimated and really just kind of cut it by eye. Okay, so at this point the handle is just very roughed in. So now it was time to, to try to start shaping the handle. And to try to cut down on how much material there is to remove, I ran through each corner through the bandsaw and almost cut in like a, like a chamfer on it, just uh, taking off the corner, essentially. And I will admit, doing this on the bandsaw was a little difficult and did take some practice. Um, if you have a spoke shave or a draw knife, those tools would probably be a much safer route to go for the first time. I took off one pass on each corner, but then was really afraid of messing it up. So instead, I decided to get out my spindle sander and try shaping it with that. And of course, the sanding is a slower process than the cutting of the bandsaw, so I was able to control it a lot more. And I used the largest spindle available to cut down on the inconsistencies and the bumps that it created. But this step was a lot of fine tuning by sanding it and then feeling it and then sanding it again, honestly, just a little bit at a time until I got it where I wanted it. The very top tapered portion of the axe is called the eye. And on this one, I used power tools in order to cut it in. Once I got the eye down to where the axe head would fit roughly about an inch onto it, I then cut a slit right down the center with my bandsaw. So it wasn't until last night that I watched a video on how to properly mount the head or hang it, uh, which is actually where the term can't get the hang of it came from. I watched a really great video, so I will leave you a link in the description if you're interested. But what I should have done is not cut this angle yet, and that way I could hang the handle, put the head on, and then hammer it into place until it seats on the shoulders. However, since I can't do that, I'm just going to be putting the head in place and then tapping it down. Since I couldn't use the hanging method, I clamped the handle in my super jaws and then tapped on the head. Once it was seated completely on the shoulders, I cut a wedge from poplar, which is a much softer material, then glued and hammered it into place. <laughs> and this is when I posted it to Instagram and got a lot of feedback, but very politely, I might add, <laughs> that I had made a mistake or two. Oh, I made a mistake. I not only hung this upside down, but also backwards on the handle, just not paying attention. So I could actually probably use this the way it is, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this handle and make a new one using all the same steps from scratch. What a disappointment. You wanna make me feel better? Why don't you tell me a story where you've made a mistake and how to redo all of your work? Yeah, <laughs> hearing about your mistake will make me feel better about mine. Don't get me wrong, I was very frustrated, but there is a bright side. I almost never build the same thing twice. So by doing this a second time, I got to try out a few different things differently in the second go around than I did the first. Uh, one being I used the belt sander instead of the spindle sander. Another thing I refined and did differently is I completely cut in the eye on the second handle, only using a rasp and a foreign hand, and I was much, much happier with the results. Then of course I also learned from my mistake and I left the bottom flat so that I could try my hand at hanging it with the hanging method, which I found to be very tedious, but also very interesting. Mmm, interesting. 
Because once you hang the head and then take it off, you can see where it rubs and then consequently where you need to remove a little bit more material. I lost track of how many times I hung it and then took it off. Especially at this point, I did not want to mess it up and take away too much material. Every time I think it's gonna be the last time. Huh. That sounds pretty solid. But finally, I got it. So then I moved on to uh, cutting another wedge out of poplar, gluing it, and tapping it down into place. Please work. Makes my heart nervous. Yay. <laughs> oh, and for a finish, I use boiled linseed oil. I am very happy with the way that this one came out. And it's always a kind of like deflating feeling or frustrating at the, at the minimal uh, feeling whenever you mess up on a project and have to start over. I put on Instagram that I was just gonna burn this one and somebody said, no, you should keep it and hang it on the wall and make a plaque that says something along the lines of failure is part of growth. And I like that. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this one. So that's it for this one. I hope that you enjoyed the video and down in the description, I will leave you links to a few other videos that I found helpful uh, while making this handle. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Let's go chop some wood. I know this isn't a splitting ax, but I wasn't about to test it out on the trees in my front yard. So firewood will do. There she is, single bit axe with a custom made handle. I think it's gonna work. But I am very happy with the way that this...